Terrific look and terrific catch. Underneath, Kentucky's got the answer. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There. Ten on the Kentucky clock. Meeks from three, got it. Never even moved the net. Boy, Lee Meek, look at him right here, just rhythm dribble into a three. All those dribbles were, he only covered about six or seven feet. Back comes Kentucky, Meeks just flying by everybody. And the easy pass to Ramon Harris. I think Jody Meeks really has it. He's given his team a five-point lead. Meeks, fadeaway jumper. Got it. Wow. It's a fresh shot clock for Kentucky. Wow. Jody Meeks. I mean, if you'd have watched him in the last two years, you never would have believed. Try Tyler Smith on Meeks. See if he can keep him from scoring. Well, he's going to go around the pick and score anyway right over Chisholm. Well, that didn't work. Worked for a second. Yeah. You have to make an adjustment to decide, do we, do we, do we want to defend tonight or do, do we want to let this guy come into our house and put a knot on her head? Because right now, Jody Meeks is doing it in all kinds of ways. But the separation that he's creating off the bounce and the se separation that he's getting coming off of ball screens, watch. The screen is set, not a hard hedge. Chisholm gets lazy, and Meeks says, I think the miss. And now Tennessee turns it over. That's not good news. Down by six. Wow, Jody Meeks is just putting on a show. Has great balance in his game, Brad. This guy is on fire. Jody Meeks, junior out of Norcross, Georgia, putting on a show in Knoxville at Thompson Bowling Arena tonight. The hedge defender and forced the officials to make a call. There's still one under the limit, so no free throws. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He just comes around the other side and knocks down. I don't know, that might have been one too many passes by Bobby Mays. And now here comes Jody Meeks the other way against Prince. All the way and off the glass, and one. Prince picks up the foul. Meeks will go to the free throw line with a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play. Oh, is he, never, he does not go off of one foot in traffic. Boom, watch right there. He gets both feet on the ground and then explodes up. You won't see him take a finesse, one-footed jump shot in front of the rim type move. He's going to power you. Boom, with that two-footed jump stop time after time after time again. He's done it in multiple ways. His shot distribution has been terrific with a balance on the right side, the left side of the floor. So it's not enough to just challenge his shots right now. Tennessee has challenged his shots, but you have to make Jody Meeks do something else right now in this basketball game, or he could hang on a play defense on number 23. Big crossover dribble and jumper goes. All that work. JP Prince on him for this set, and he said, I'm telling my guys at halftime, see it or just when you have to. Uh, they tried to take one, yeah. and it still went in. Controls the board. Pulled out of there by Perry Stevenson. Brad, really, there's no sign of Jody Meeks letting up. Uh, still not, no. How can a guy that has already hung 30 on you get that wide open in transition? Bruce Pearl will ask the exact same question. I mean, look at this. There's not a guy within ten, a 10-foot ten arc from Jody Meeks in transition because he knows he's a catch-and-shoot threat. That was just unacceptable defense by Tennessee. He just joined, I guess, Jody Meeks has 33 points and going for more and getting wow. more. He is just lighting it up. Seven. Dangerous guy, when a floater is also a shooter, you can ring up big numbers, and that's what Jody Meeks is doing. He's on his way to, he could get fit. rebound. Coach, we'll just wish you the best of luck. Obviously, Jimmy and I and everybody, not just in college basketball, but in sports, period, have tried to blow by Hobson. Hooks it out to Meeks for three. Got it! Wow! The top of the key. Watch him come across here in a bull rush mode. He comes from one side of the floor to the other. Again, he makes Williams the next time Tennessee gets it. Meeks. Wow. Got another three! Wow. That's nine! Tying his own school record. For lack of by Cameron Tatum. The next point, number 23 scores, is the best he's ever done. There it goes. And there wow. it goes. School record, 10 threes. 49 points for Jody Meeks. Time and time again, he got off early, and Tennessee was challenging the shot early, but it's not enough. You have to make him give that ball up, double-teaming.
Brad, it's the single best performance this year in college basketball. I think Steph Curry had it when he hung 44 on Oklahoma. He just got trumped tonight by Jody Meeks hanging over 50 on the visiting floor against Tennessee in a monster matchup, a conference matchup, an important ball game, a lot of pressure, a lot of things at stake. No, you didn't, Jody Meeks. Yes, you did. You know, they're one of the top 12 teams in the country as far as field goal percentage defense. There he ties the school record of 53 points in a single game. If you were there on February 7th in 1970, Dan Issel, who is more than a legend in Kentucky and in his professional basketball career, you just saw history again tonight. 54 points. Write it down. January 13th, 2009, belongs to Jody Meeks. Luke Karen Gody, Hansborough, Curry, Griffin, James Harden, add Jody Meeks to the list that should be in that conversation as of tonight. I think the ball should be rightfully in his hands at the end of the game. Take that one home with you, Jody. 54 points. Now he's getting mobbed by his teammates. Kentucky school record for a single game performance. And what a performance it was. 90 to 72 and 54. A record setting night for Jody Meeks. Jody, why were you able to read this Tennessee defense so well? What were you seeing out there? I just give credit to my teammates for finding me on, on the wing wide open and Coach Staff did a great job getting us prepared and this is great. I'm speechless right now. You have to be speechless. I mean, you were just in a zone about halfway through the game. What were you thinking? What was going through your mind? You had 30-something points at that point. I was just thinking, no matter what, I wanted to win this game. And uh, my first two years, I never won here, and I wanted to get the win tonight. And just, I'm all about winning. You're in the company of Dan Issel, one of the all-time greats. How does that make you feel? Uh, it's great. Uh, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of mind-boggling to me to be in the same, you know, sense as those kind of Kentucky legends. But you know, I'm just happy to be in the same sense as them. Congratulations on a record-setting performance. Isn't it amazing that the, one of the first things he said was? The only thing I was worried about is I never got a win here. I want to get yeah. a win here. I don't think he was worried about getting any kind of scoring records tonight, was it? No, but you talk about the numbers he put up, but I go back to how happy his teammates were for him and then his comments about making sure we get the win. He is a terrific kid, and he put on a performance of all performances, one that we will never forget. And he, Brad, he has to be in the conversation at least for National Player of the Year.